Here's how to use Zoom on both desktop and mobile. For desktop, first we will show you how to use Zoom via your browser. There is also an app available for both PC and Mac, which we will show you later. Once you are in your browser, navigate to the Zoom website. There you can sign up for a free account. Once your account is created and you are logged in, click on My Account. At the top, you will see options for scheduling, joining, and hosting meetings. If you are scheduling a meeting, you will fill out a form where you will choose the meeting topic and description, as well as set the date and time. You will also have the option to schedule it as a recurring meeting. Edit all of your details, and when you are done, click Save. On the desktop app, click the Meetings tab. You'll find a small plus symbol on the left panel. Click this to begin scheduling a new meeting. This will open a form that looks similar to the browser version. Enter the meeting name, date, and time. Click the blue Schedule button to create and save the future event. Scheduled meetings will now appear on the left-hand side. In the mobile app, tap the Schedule option at the top of the screen. Enter the meeting name and set its date and time. Then tap Done. This will bring you to another form, which adds the event to your mobile calendar. Verify the information. You can now add invitees. On the Zoom website, you can click Join a Meeting at the top. This will prompt you to enter the meeting ID or personal link name. Click Join to begin the call. If someone sent you an invite link, click to open the link in your preferred browser. If you happen to have the app installed, your browser will ask permission to open the app, along with audio and video access. If someone invites you to a current meeting and you have the mobile app installed, your device will ring and you can join the call by answering. If you know your meeting name or ID, tap Join on the app's Meet and Tap home screen. Enter the meeting ID and then tap Join. If you are joining via a link sent to you on mobile, tapping on the link will open your browser app. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, you'll be prompted to do so at this time from the App Store or Play Store. If you have the app downloaded already, give Zoom permission to open the app. After providing audio and video access, you will join the call on your mobile device. Now that you know how to schedule and join meetings, let's take another look at using Zoom with a browser. On the left-hand side, you will find a variety of options, including your profile. This is where you can change your profile picture, edit your email or password, and make other changes in the settings section. You'll also find the option to sign out of Zoom on all of your devices at the bottom of this page. Below your profile tab, you'll find a summary of your meetings. You can start or delete upcoming meetings in this space. Other tabs on the left-hand side include webinars, recordings, and your settings. The webinar feature can only be enabled if you pay for an account. And if you want to record, it will direct you to enable this feature for you and your meeting participants. More advanced settings are towards the bottom of the left panel, including managing users and rooms. All of these options are more streamlined in the desktop app. There are four main tabs at the top of the screen, Home, Chat, Meetings, and Contacts. The Home tab gives you the option to start a new meeting, join a current call, schedule a future event, or share your screen. If you have any upcoming meetings for the day, you'll also find them in a checklist on the right-hand side. To access your settings, you can click your profile in the top right-hand corner, or you can click on the gear icon. The Chat tab keeps track of any conversations you have between contacts. You can star or favorite conversations for easy access or browse through your recent ones. You'll also find contact requests if anyone has requested to join your directory. Additionally, any shared files between contacts will appear in the Files section. The Meetings tab shows a summary of any upcoming meetings organized by date. You may also toggle between upcoming and recorded meetings at the top or click the plus sign to schedule a new one. Click on any pre-existing meeting to view options to start it early, copy the invitation, edit, or delete it. Lastly, the Contacts tab keeps track of the colleagues and classmates you add to the platform. View contact information by browsing through the left-hand categories. 
starred, external, and cloud contacts. You can also click to view any channels, which are groups of contacts, to help organize your activities. Click the plus sign to add a new contact or channel. And here are some final things to know about the mobile app. The main tabs are found at the bottom. Meet and chat, meetings, contacts, and settings. Within meet and chat, you will find new meeting, join, schedule, and share screen. Meetings shows a lineup of upcoming events. You can also start a call, send an invitation, or edit a current event at the top of the page. Your personal meeting ID is your unique code to start an individual meeting. Tap on an upcoming meeting to view its details or delete it entirely. You'll also find the option to add invitees and send invitations to those contacts via email or text message. Contacts looks extremely similar to the desktop version and lists your starred favorites as well as any others in your company directory. Search for contacts at the top of the page. Tap the plus symbol in the top right corner to open a pop-up menu to add a contact, create a new channel, or join a public one. You can also toggle between contacts and channels at the top. Keep a lookout on our channel for more helpful tech tutorials.